with Michael DiPietro at the NHL Scouting Combine in Buffalo. And Michael, first of all, uh, congratulations. You didn't have much to savor. Uh, it was straight from winning the Memorial Cup and right here to get ready and a chance to shine. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, we won the Memorial Cup Sunday night and tried to enjoy it with my teammates for at least 48 hours before Gabe and I uh, hopped on a plane. I actually got delayed, so we didn't get here till like 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. So it's been a whirlwind week. Uh, still haven't even sunk in that we won. But, you know, obviously I'm very ecstatic, and now I'm just trying to soak in this experience because it's once in a lifetime, and, um, you know, just a small guy from Amherstburg enjoying this is something uh, I remember forever. And a rarity at the Memorial Cup. I mean, six weeks off, uh, as you know, Rocky Thompson ties to the Edmonton Oilers organization. How did he and the team manage that six weeks most effectively to get you ready? We talked to, uh, I believe it was shooting at Chikutami, who won at home, and, um, what they did, and they broke up into phases. So Rock got together with our training staff, along with the rest of our coaching staff, and broke it up into four phases, the fourth phase being the Memorial Cup. And, you know, phase one was so, so hard. Um, you know, Why is that? Is uh, that the conditioning phase? Yeah, both of them. Um, <laughs> we do, I go to school, come to the rink, have two and a half hour practice, work out for two hours, you know, my bill mom had to help me down the stairs a few nights, you know, couldn't really feel my legs. So um, then phase two would be more uh, running, um, you know, wake up at 7 a.m., do 5K runs. and you know, That's the problem with having a head coach who's in shape <laughs> the way Rock is. Exactly, you know, and he's in better shape than uh, our, and our entire team. You know, it's kind of hard to keep up with them. And I always joke with them, I move laterally. I don't, <laughs> I don't move forward. Right. So, um, you know, that's a big joke in our room, and we're just having a great time and try to enjoy the experience. I can't believe it's, I can't believe it's over. Uh, some of the guys are back home now and definitely going to miss them, but I'm looking forward to next season. You know, there's a rumor going around that you've gotten off the line of the combine, and that was when you were asked about not being this gargantuan goalie, the six five six six goalie, that you had the same quote unquote problem as Jonathan Quick, and you said, "Well, if if I have the same problem as Jonathan Quick, which is winning all the time, I'll take that." Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, Amazing how fast word travels. Uh, yeah, it's a. He's a goaltender that you know utilizes his size properly, and he has the ability to make the big save when needed. And sometimes he puts himself in a position to make the big save when you really don't have to, but he makes it. And at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how many how many pucks are on the goal line and how many wins you have. They never ask how; they ask how many. So that was kind of my mindset coming into it. Um, you know, I never really used any excuses growing up. You know, this height is what God gave me, so uh, I'm going to use it to my best ability and. Um, I'll see where it pans out from there. Hopefully a team uh, team falls in love with me. And when they ask this guy, well, he could just tell him he's a Memorial Cup champion. We're at the NHL Scouting Combine in Buffalo.